Nine tenths plus two tenths. Show me on your hands. What would that give me as my new numerator? Good job, Karis. What excites Lauren. me the most about being a PYP teacher at Oak Forest is seeing the excitement and the joy that our units bring to our students. I love learning about the world around me. At our school, everybody is exposed um, to the International Baccalaureate education. Because it encourages students to be principled, balanced, and inquirers. The International Baccalaureate primary year program was designed to be a feeder pattern. We feed into the middle school program and to the high school program. Um, the DP program started first. That's a diploma program and it's mostly a high school program. But then they start seeing that the kids were not as prepared as they needed to be. And then they're like, you know what? We need a little bit more input, a little bit more impact. So then they began the primary year program. So they have the option when they go to middle school and go to high school to take those additional advanced classes and they can graduate with an IB diploma, which is beneficial to them when they get into the older grades. So I need to find an equivalent fraction. So I have a three and I have a six. It's a very child-centered curriculum. So no matter if I'm teaching science, social studies, math, I integrate everything together and um, we generate questions that they're curious about. What do we do in our mouth? Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, that's right, so important. You might not come in and see just a typical math lesson or a typical science lesson. You will see those subject areas integrated throughout our day. Okay, you're eating apples so you can get strong fruits and vegetables. What else can you add to this paper? Where are you? IB has a mission and it's to develop lifelong learners who solve real world problems, who uh, understand that there are many perspectives when there is a problem. In our new world of our global learners, we want students to be uh, familiar with solving problems. We look for things that children can do um, to impact um, our community and also the community at large. There was a shortage of hand sanitizers, so I decided to make them. I went on Google and searched, how do you make sanitizer? I give hand sanitizers to frontline workers who don't have sanitizers, so it makes it a cleaner area for them. We have school-wide action activities. And one of them that we do every year is Souls for Souls. Students bring in new or partially used shoes and they donate them. And last year we collected over 500 pairs of shoes to be donated to that program called Souls for Souls. Action comes from big things like that when it's school-wide and action also comes from if a student drops something on the ground in the classroom and, and a child says, here, here's your pencil back. Those are still considered actions. It's what you do once you um, have learned to be empathetic, respectful, um, those things are always celebrated. So they know how to be a responsible student, a caring student, a respectful student. Um, they also know how to communicate. Ni hao wa shi kares, wu bu shi kwan besa, wu shi kwan han bao bao. So basically I said, hello, my name is Karis, and I don't like to eat pizza, and I like to eat hamburgers. Um, we celebrate Chinese culture at our school. There's not that many schools around Memphis where you get to learn another language when you're in elementary school. Jianba, good. Jianba is our shoulder, okay. Nice. At first it becomes a novelty. Like, oh wow, my child is learning Mandarin Chinese. But once they get into the class, they realize it's a cultural class in addition to the language. It's about understanding and appreciating a culture from another um, perspective. It helps me be able to communicate with other people in the world that don't speak English. All right, guys, all of you, touch your Yeah. Good job. It's like a, uh, a beginning Mandarin language exposure, um, but no, they're not writing with the characters, but they have written with the characters, but it's not that focus. It's more of a conversational exposure to the culture in addition to the language. Good job, guys. You did it. I 
am healthy because... And it's not just the students who are showing these attributes, it's the teachers here. You know, I wouldn't choose to have my, my kids come here if it weren't for the teachers who are also showing these attributes. It's just very important to make that human connection with them that they feel safe, uh, respected, and cared for while they're here. When I see them taking ownership of our units and driving our units themselves, when I see them sharing and collaborating with, their stu with the other students in the classroom, that brings me much joy. Do you want to continue this program through middle school and high school, the IB program? Yes.